Hello, my name is Joshua. My last name is Castile. This is my sign name. And I'm playing Romeo with this amazing... Hi, my name is Isabel. And yeah. I am playing Ju with Juliet. Juliet. <laughs> So this play, Romeo and Juliet, has a deaf Romeo and a hearing Juliet. Uh, there's two sign names for her in the play, you'll see. And the show shows Romeo in a world with many people. Some of his friends can sign a little bit. Some of his friends don't sign at all. When he meets Juliet, he really wants to communicate with her. So he starts gesturing, doing like some charades that kind of thing with Juliet. And she picks up some of the signs and she picks up some of the gestures and it becomes a very playful form of language. Juliet fits into this world by meeting this Romeo who signs, um, who turns out to be a Montague. She learns later her, her family's mortal enemy of generations. Um, she, she meets this beautifully poetic and visceral and emotive and playful Romeo. Um, and together they just jump into the precipice of not knowing exactly how to communicate with each other. Um, and they figure it out somehow. They make up a language together. They um, invent things on the spot with each other. And there's just so much play. And through that, Juliet comes into being. She's growing up, she's a young girl, and she's learning about how to tap into that part of herself, and Romeo brings that out of her. I also think that this Juliet specifically learns and, and plays back and forth, so there's a love, it's lovely to see their connection because there's a clear discovery that the director always talks about. Like you have to find each other, you have to discover each other. Every movement, every moment. And Juliet is the first person in Romeo's world that really sees Romeo for who Romeo is and really picks up on all the little pieces of him. And uh, he feels seen, he feels loved, he feels changed because of that. And I think that's because of her efforts to discover him. The most wonderful thing about working on this play has been the people. Um, I was just, I mean, when I, when I heard about the cast list, I just freaked out individually about every single person that I'm either a fan of or, or have seen their work at APT um, or have worked with before. Um, like, it's just cast so magnificently and every single person brought, you know, their own magic to the, to the cauldron that is this play and just you know, everybody threw in ingredients just on day one on that table read, you know, and, and all of the work that we've been thinking and simmering or have had prior experience to this play. This is my first time doing this production, but many people have come to this play again, um, but to just see how what everybody brought to this play, um, just the magic that and the unique relationships that we were able to create with each other really f made this play feel so alive for us. All these people are like mathematicians. They're all extremely skilled at figuring out how to add the right amount of this and the right amount of danger and all of these little bits of magic to make people really know how to how to impact the audience and tell the story. And we all discuss together like how or, or what story we want to tell at this moment in time. So I, I totally agree. Those people are amazing and it's been really fun to work with her. I think the most of the visual elements in the show make it like there's the fences and the blocking and the signing like there's so much of that and seeing Shakespeare for the first time I think that like my opinion is that like because people are signing and gesturing I think that we really hit on the wordplay a lot more so you're not just hearing it you're you're getting a visual of the word and when you watch Romeo and Juliet meet for the first time you really start to see them pick up on the word person and they sign that a few times together and when you watch Queen Mab the monologue you see Mercutio he will talk about dreams 
and that they gallop and he plays with that sign. And it's really interesting. It's, it's fun to see what Shakespeare is talking about on the hands, to see the relationship become stronger um, through that. And so I think that John, our director, has done a really good job of adding this one element that nobody, I feel like people don't think about for Romeo and Juliet, it's hate and showing the hate versus love and the contrast of that. And I think that that makes this production really, really good because of that high contrast. The violent delights have violent ends. I, I hope that anyone um, who wants to see a production um, with a lot of really exciting representation um, is, is why I would encourage people to come if they want to see themselves or other people's worlds on the stage that they, they either see themselves or they see something that's entirely different. I think it's really exciting about this production. There's just a visceralness to this thing. Like whether that is because we have, you know, two languages and one of them is fully bodily <laughs> communication or whether that's just the passion that we all have in making this really unique production. I think people who just want to see an alive something should come. <laughs>